Okay, so here's here's what um, I'm still struggling with. Mm -hmm. I mean, Harris, she's just not qualified. So what makes you think that? I mean, they say that she slept her way to the top and she's just a product of the DEI. Do you know that Vance is a DEI candidate? What? Yeah, that's how he got into Yale. In his own words, he said, it wasn't because of anything that I had done or earned, it was because I was the poorest kid in school. I never even thought of DEI that way. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the trap we all fall into it, thinking of it just along racial lines. And it, it, that's not to say that DEI is a bad thing. I mean, studies have shown that organizations and institutions like schools are enriched by having ethnically, culturally, economically diverse populations. But the point is that we know that Vance is self-admittedly a DEI candidate. Mm -hmm. There's actually no proof that Harris is, unless you just think that, you know, a black person can't possibly be smart enough to be an attorney. No, I do not think that. No, I, know. <laughs> I absolutely you know, do not. But, but the, you know, the point is that there's, there's no DEI program in the world that will help you pass the California bar. It's the toughest in the nation. It's got a pass rate of like 34%. And there's also no way to sleep your way to a passing grade on that one. Okay, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but if you look at, at Harris's experience, you know, she has a bachelor's in economics and political science. Trump's is just political science. Um, she has a JD. She's passed the hardest bar in the, in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, she was elected DA of San Francisco, Attorney General of California, Senator. Then she went on to serve as VP of the United States for almost four years. You know, not to mention, you know, all the other appointments um, that she's held and been given. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit more experience than Trump had when he took office. You know, in fact, mm -hmm. you know, as a first-time presidential nominee... She has more elected government experience than JFK, Reagan, and Trump combined. Really? Yeah. Yeah, she has over 21 years of elected government experience. You know, just to compare, JFK had 13, Reagan had 8. So, you know, Trump is actually the only president ever with no military, political, or government experience when he took office. Okay. I didn't realize that. Yeah. And... You know, if you look at her whole career, it's it's all been in public service. So there's there's been no like high paying, fancy law firm position. You know, in fact, if you factor in all types of public service, then she has a whopping 34 years of experience, and that's more than JFK, Reagan, Obama, and obviously Trump combined. Wow. Okay, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty qualified. Yeah. That's... <laughs> yeah. Okay.